Hello, this is Powwow Music. My name is Jessica M. Gutierrez Massini. In this part, I'm going to teach you about Powwow Music. You'll learn the importance of being a singer and the musical elements that make Powwow Music unique. Let's get started. Powwow singers hold responsibilities. For example, a Powwow singer is expected to sing for their community rather than themselves or the praise they may receive. Without the singers, the powwow dancing cannot take place. A singer is not meant to take advantage of that relationship for their own gain. Instead, a powwow singer gives selflessly their time and talents for the health of the communities they serve through their music making. Powwow music making is a social activity. While sometimes some sing solo, at a powwow you'll see large groups of singers gathered around a single drum singing as a large group. Sometimes these groups are a single family with several generations singing together. Within the powwow, there, within the, within the powwow group, there are two parts: the lead, who starts the song and each repetition of the song, while the other singers are called seconds. Everyone is still singing the same part and words. However, the lead sings the first line first, then the others join in. The lead is often an older male who has memorized numerous songs under their belt. In the following powwow song called Straight Up by Northern Wind Singers, you'll hear the drum first, then a single male voice, the lead, followed by other male voices, seconds. Let's take a listen. In the powwow music you just heard, song elements include unison singing and vocables. Unison singing means that everyone sings the same notes together. I put this in quotes because it's not about singing in the perfect voice or pitch, but for everyone to sing together as one voice. Also in the recording, the voices were using vocables. Vocables are syllables used to convey a vocal tune. These parts are not in any language, nor have linguistic meaning. However, they have musical significance. Another example of vocables are the fa la 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 in the Christmas song Deck the Halls. Some, other, some people believe vocables could be words from a Native American language that no one understands or speaks today. There are two kinds of powwow beats you'll hear at a powwow, straight and round. Straight beats are the most common in powwow songs and offer a constant, even beat. Listen to the example played here. This is an example of a straight beat. Note that in these recordings, I am singing the vocable parts to a powwow song. You'll hear another vocables part in the second recording too. Now round beats, or sometimes called round dance because it goes with that dance style, feels like an incomplete triplet or two beats with a pause repeated over and over. Listen to the round dance powwow beat here. This is an example of a round beat. Can you tell the difference between the beats in the first recordings versus the second? Let's take a listen again. Here's the first recording for straight beats. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
notice the even beats here versus the second recording. In the second recording, there's that two beats, then a pause, and then two beats again. Remember, most powwow music uses the straight beat, the first one. However, you're going to learn more about round dances, round dance songs, in the following supplemental video. Honor beats are sometimes called check beats or hard beats within a song because the drumming changes to emphasize certain beats. The best dancers intimately know where the honor beats in powwow songs are and know to do special moves on those honor beats. For example, a grass dancer might crouch down and sweep the floor like he's grazing the grass, or a woman's traditional dancer may raise her feather fan above her head. Now I'm going to play a video recording of a live Powell event focused on the Powell group Indian Hill. The honor beats can be seen visually as the singers lift their drumsticks higher for stronger, louder beats. You might also notice that, this, that they are singing in unison and playing a straight powwow beat. Did you catch it? Now let's review a little of what we learned. I'm going to ask you four questions and then pause for a few seconds for you to answer. Please pause the video and try answering the questions on your own before continuing on to the answers. Let's begin. First question. What are the two singing parts called in powwow music? Lead and seconds. Next question. True or false? In powwow music, everyone sings the same notes called unison singing. Is this true or false? True. Next question. Is this a straight or round beat in this powwow song? Straight. All right, last question. What are the harder, harder, louder beats in powwow music called? Honor beats. Also hard beats or check beats. So how did you do? I hope you learned a lot in this music powwow lesson. Take care. Achima.